Alrighty, fantastic. Many thanks for hanging up with us right here on Why in the Morning. Before we get too far, you can continue to engage with us once again on the hashtag Why in the Morning through our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter as well. It's at Y254 channel. And personally, you can find me at Brian Sankwa 101. Right about now, we're going to talk about how to incorporate money and content creation or even vice versa are you a content are you an aspiring content creator back at home and you know you have this big dream of you know you know one of those guys who are like welcome to my youtube channel why not start right about now so joining me live in studio with us is Faustin Lipuko who is also a content creator a CEO and many other titles that he has right here live with us in studio to take on this topic good morning good morning bro Finally, you made it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Nairobi traffic. <laughs> Kanairo, they say welcome to Kanairo. Karibu, yeah, Kanairo, Kenya. Kanairo, yeah. All right. Yeah. But I'm glad you're here. Yeah, thanks. All right, so uh, let's go straight up into it. Uh, content creation is really an interesting field. Uh, we have seen a lot of um, influencers as well, mm -hmm. who are also part of the, you know, the group of content creations and any other person who has you know, a huge following on social media. Yeah. Would you say it starts with having some numbers first? before you start content creation, or it's just something you can start out from nowhere, and boom, here you are. Okay, it's not something that you start from nowhere, okay? It, you have to start from somewhere. You have right. to have a vision, you have to have an objective, you know? And you just don't start, you know, content creating if you don't have a long-term content, you know, to put out there, okay? Right. So, um, as for me, I was inspired my story. Yeah? My story is the one that inspired me, yeah? Right. Because um, some two years back, I lost my dear wife right. through a road accident. And same, same time, my daughter was also involved in the same, same road accident. So when we went to Kenyatta National Hospital, throughout those hassles in Ninia, that is where I spent the inspiration, just to inspire somebody out there, you know, by right. recording some few videos of baby Talisha. Because before the accident, she was just like any other normal baby, yeah? She right. could walk, she could talk, she could eat and do everything, you know. But now she's in a state whereby she cannot talk, she cannot walk and do anything at all, yeah? All right. Um, now I want to stand up like that father figure, you know. We, we have a lot of fathers who maybe in such a situation, right. they, they run away. Some take their kids to their grandmothers or their parents back at home. But yeah, right. I just wanted to show that other part of, you know, fatherhood, you know. Fatherhood, right. Yeah. Like so being that kind of, you know, a dad that, yeah, that nobody being that else, you know, one kind of a dad journey. whereby, you know, nah. if somebody will watch my content, you'll be right. inspired, you'll not give up, you know. We have a lot of parents out there, not only single fathers or single mothers, right. but parents who have kids who have different kinds of disorders or problems, you know, disabilities, right. and uh -huh. they, they seem like they are giving up on them, yeah. So right. I didn't give up on my kids. So I, normally I do record a lot of videos of, with me and baby Talisha when she was doing the therapies while at the hospital, you know, just to put it out so that someone can see that video and get inspired or motivated, you know, because right. we have brighter days coming ahead of you, yeah, just right. to bring hope. To bring home to people. Yeah. I'm, I'm really interested to know exactly what happened that uh, literally led to that road accident. Was there maybe um, a, a mess up during, you know, while you were driving? And uh, just take us to a, a short brief before we get back to now uh, the, the money aspect of the content you create. Okay, so um, it was an unfortunate event because actually I was from work, yeah. Okay. We had a family photo shoot. Uh, then after then I went to Juja Farm. We had some uh, photo shoot session. You know, there's a family. There's a couple that was celebrating an anniversary, yeah? 25 years of you know marriage. You know, so when you are coming back at home, just um, at KU, yeah? right? Opposite Kenyatta University on Thika Road, yeah? Right. That is that is where we we got the road accident, and it was because you know we had another car in front of us which had a road accident, yeah. But then uh, it was just tagged down on the road. So when we tried to apply, I was the one driving the car. Yeah? So when I tried to apply the brakes, the car started swerving on the road, and that is how the accident happened. Yeah, because we the, during that time there were there were no road signs. You know, no person was there to say, "Yeah, kuna accident apumbele." You can do this and that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and, 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 and and here you are, because um, I understand, you know, when you go through such a moment that, you know, you see 
another life being taken away, there's a lot of things that happen to you mentally. And uh, before you even get to the recovery and healing process, first of all, you're just a totally different person. And uh, what, how, how would you describe uh, the recovery and the healing moment for you? Are there things that you try to do? Did you check into therapy before you even embarked onto that journey of starting to create content? And now look at you, here you are. What I decided to do, because, you know, grief is a very tough journey. Grief is quite a tough journey. Let nobody lie to you that grief is an easy journey. All right. So what uh, what I tried to do is I I, I started creating content here. Yeah? All right. Because I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer, right? All right. So what I decided to do is that uh, let me create content for people to watch so that I may not, you know, like, bro, when you just sit there idle, all that right. is now when depression hits in, yeah? Exactly. Because a lot of, uh, I had a lot of friends who left me, yeah? Right, because of yeah. that incident. Yeah, 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 sure. They abandoned so, you, right? Well, you end up with a bro. Well, I back in Moja Moja to a I had a very good friend, it's called Robert, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, way back from high school, yeah? And a few other friends from high school also. All you back in up, yeah? Right. So, you... When Ukikoko grief, the only thing I can tell anybody in case you want to to heal, you know, and to get out of that grief moment, yeah. All right. Try to do something that you love doing most, yeah. All right. If you like watching movies, watch a lot of them, you know. All right. But then also come up and movie kitambo. Kitambo and then yeah. you stop. Yeah. All of a sudden. You stop, you know. Kuna vitu zingine na jamlikuwa mno na kitambo na huu mtu then. Yeah. All of a sudden there's a, this gap. Yeah. You start even having all those fresh memories, exactly. like nostalgic exactly. so memories, you, right? You should try to avoid things that you know in a in a kurudisha uko nyuma ya. All right. In a in a take process yeah right so for me i started doing you know photography everything afresh i started everything afresh because during the accident i lost like everything in the accident yeah. my camera everything the lens so i brought and uh, i started fox art yeah fox art is my if you see the right, 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 right. yeah so uh -huh. fox art is my company my photography company right that is how now i started making videos i started taking memories for other people you know to because see. actually right. during the accident the camera was totally crashed the only thing in the, in the back in the memory card yeah all right actually the pictures i did send it to you the picture in the one corner the left right that is all the right last picture we, ever took we took together yeah right. and that is the only thing in the remain for you in that in memory camera. card so that right. is what it's decided to do and I decided also to create more content. Content. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Yeah, so and it's like your outlet, you, it's like your outlet portal for you to heal from that exactly, trauma yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's come back to the reception of the content because yeah. uh, there's always feedback once you post a video out there. Mm. How, uh, how did, uh, let's say even also your family and even friends, how was the reception in terms of the comments when you decided to like use this as a healing process or a, as a healing outlet for you? Mm. For me, I decided to look at the positive side of the comments, yeah? When and you look right. at the negative type of the comments, you'll never go anywhere, bro. You'll just lose hope, you know? All right. Yeah, you'll lose hope. You'll, you, you'll, know, hey, you'll just give up, brother. All right. Because uh, we have a lot of bullies online, yeah? You Our understand trolls. that, yeah? Right. We have a lot of trolls online. All right. uh, Some of them have never seen Baby Talisha, have never even met in yeah. person, yeah. Then, then they have a lot to say. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot to, to say, say about a person they don't know. Gone, you know, right. more persecution that they have never even gone, yeah. And yeah. even if it's their, their, you know, their, their. Yeah. Yani sasa kikwa jani ya ata wizi enda as far as the lume nyume enda, yeah. So we have had a lot of trolls pale and insults, you know. But then I just keep on going, yeah. Yeah, and just move, move your mic a little closer. Yeah, right. so uh -huh. uh, I just keep on going and... Uh, that is how life is, you know. All right. In life, you have to have the negative part of it and the right. positive part of it, yeah. But right. you have to base on the positive, yeah. Positive. Positivity, about. yeah, so that you can at least move on. All right. I can only imagine how it feels. Now, let's get back to uh, the business of money and now incorporating content because uh, I've, I've actually interviewed a lot of content creators as well. Yes. And uh, there's, there's usually this constant question. Is it going to help me make money? 
How am I going to extract money out of it? And as much as I'm requesting my parents or I'm, I'm requesting, you know, for people to support me to buy these, yes. you know, incredible camera to start recording videos on different topics or different spaces, is it going to make me money? When you started sharing your journey and your experience of losing, you know, your dear loved one, how, have you started making money out of it? If yes, how much is the biggest you've made? And if a person is watching back at home, how can they also take on that journey of even channeling the experiences to make money out of YouTube? Okay, so um, I have different types of social media platforms. Yeah, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have YouTube, we have TikTok. Yeah, TikTok is the latest. It's everywhere, you know. Everybody's watching TikTok right now, right? So uh, for me, I started on my YouTube channel back then, 2016, you know. So um, when I started the YouTube channel, we, you know, the goal is to, you know, you, at least your channel to be monetized, you know, yeah? That is the big goal as any content creator, any YouTuber, you, ha you want your channel to be monetized, yeah? Right. By good luck, when I did my first interview yeah, at a certain TV station, right. and they posted it on the YouTube also, and then they pinned my, my YouTube channel, you know, there. I, at least I gained some subscribers and my watch hours, because my videos was quite small. It's like Kwangazil and Dogondogo. Like okay. to send me three to four minutes to come here, yeah. All right. So uh, the watch hours, or oh, to be monitored on YouTube first, you have to have one thousand subscribers, subscribers. Uh -huh. and you have to have four thousand watch, watch hours, time. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that is I attend that, and then that is how the pin was sent to a postal code. You have to pick it, uh, to pick it, yeah. All right. At the postal code that you are provided, so that you can activate your AdSense account, so that now you can start earning from your videos, yeah. All right. So first, you have to activate that one. In case you upload any video any day, you have to, you know, to put on that monetization on. All right. And then you can place where you want the ads to be, like every day. So people have, right. you should not skip those ads, right. so that I can earn, you know. Right. So any day we say don't skip those ads, yeah. We we earn from those ads. People watching those ads, then that is how YouTubers earn, yeah. So far, so good. Right, I just YouTubers. lift your mic a little bit closer, right, right yeah, there. So right. far, so good. The, the highest I've ever, you know, maybe made, uh -huh. made from YouTube was around uh, around ninety eight thousand, yeah. Yeah. Was yeah, it, that was my first. Which is a good amount of money, bro, <laughs> for a starter. Because yeah, you know, that somebody would imagine creating yeah, yeah. a video right now and yeah. getting 98k just in one video. Yeah, yeah, That's sure. a good amount of cash. Yeah, so bro. that is how that is a motivation, you know. Right. Like each and every day when you wake up, you want to create content each and every day, you know. Right. Yeah, and it's part of inspiring people. Also, you have to, you know, you have to sustain yourself. You know, this is Nairobi. Yeah, yeah, I you know? have yeah, you have to pay rent. You have I have to take that girl to you know to this school, girl. I have to right. school. You know I'm paying school fees right now. Right. I'm 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 doing a lot of things at the moment. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But there's uh, I understand there's Google AdSense which is involved. I think yes. you also talk about that. Like just quickly, how do you incorporate Google AdSense before you now even start inserting you know uh, the adverts? Because I know Google AdSense is the one which will allow you to even have uh, ads running on your YouTube as well. For a person who is watching, for them to understand briefly. How do you do that so that you get adverts on your video and then you can finally make money out of it? So for Google AdSense, yeah, for YouTubers or uh, for maybe Facebook, you know, like in Africa, I don't know if we can monetize, but then I understand other countries can, yeah? Right. But once you hit the, 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 the target, you know, the, 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 the threshold, yeah? Right. Now, YouTube itself will send you a message, you know, that you, you have to open now an the Google account. Yeah. account. Right. So you just put in your email, the pin that they sent you to the postal code. Then after that, your account will be active, yeah? All so right. maybe in case I want now to monetize my Facebook, yeah? I can still use the same same account. Maybe I have a broadcast, yeah. I still All right. Use the same same account. All right. And for the AdSense account, you you can wire it with your bank account, maybe your PayPal or another right. form of money payment, yeah. All right. I have a lot a lot of money payment modes, yeah. All right. So for me, I chose bank because you can just wire it with the bank, yeah. All right. So that is what I did. How many subscribers do you have right now for the uh, YouTube? It's one hundred one. 105k. 105,000. And you also got a silver button for that as well. Congratulations. How did, how did, but a lot of people usually ask if somebody has to get a silver button or a golden button, how can they, uh, how can they get it? Uh, does Google send it to you directly to your specific location or there's a place you have to sign in and then they can deliver it to you to a place? Like, take us through how you got yours. 
Okay, so um, first of all, when you hit 100k subscribers, yeah, right. uh, what they normally do, they, they send you a message when you open your YouTube studio, yeah? Right. Kuna ka message kana pop up yeah kana uh, creator studio yeah? because that is where you can edit you can upload you can do everything yeah right. so kuna ka message kana pop up pale ju akwambia so now you, you have an as, a society award it's called a society award that is right. the silver button yeah hizo right. zote hizo gold ni nini zote platinum na itonga society, society award uh -huh. so you have to apply for it yeah right and then you have an option like mine is malkia fostin you know yeah right. so you can even edit that name in case you don't want it or malkia fostin or ni unaweza itoa ya right but mimi yangu ilibaki ku give you in honor of the late because yeah we started the right. channel higher right so we did that it did take like uh, two weeks um, um a minimum of two weeks ilikuwa imekuja so kuna message unatumiaanga mingi wanakuambia ni nani atakuletea nini so mimi walitumia ilikuja hadi ilikuja na cargo hadi jka then from jka then there's a delivery ilikuja na this a company wanakupigenga simu wala kuleta dipe nyuko so mimi walinipata actually nilikuwa garage mimi so i can let you and i felt so nice by the way i did a reaction video and after i did that ndio hii kwa hapa then yeah you can see there's there's this photo and then you have your friends right there aha i decided to do an event you know something that celebrate my fans you know celebrate the achievement because not only for me or you know some yeah. follow me because of baby talisha yeah? right yeah and uh, i decided to do some things where we can celebrate together we can have a very good time together and right. that is how it happened that a lot of people came we had friends coming all the way from mombasa all had right. a friend called jeff the poet all the way from busia i came you know a lot celebrate. of people came yeah. 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 Can surprise. congratulations yeah. Man. yeah so it's a right. big milestone okay it may seem a very you know it's a small achievement to somebody else but to me it's a very it's a quite a big achievement yeah all right yeah so you, uh, any small wins you have to celebrate because it's not easier all right. Um, uh, in interesting, bro, because uh, a, a lot of people just, you know, look at that and admire and think, you know, it's an easy journey. But it, it's so brave of you to take your experience and also incorporate that, you know, and look at you now. You've won an award for yourself. Now, uh, w uh, aside from that, uh, which other, which uh, let's say in terms of content creation, which other dimension do you want maybe future in future to take your content to? Because basically uh, content revolves around baby Talisha and uh, stories, uh, stories about you yourself of course and your experiences do you see yourself maybe diversifying it to a different you know niche to tap into a different audience yeah sure i had started you uh, doing some videos you know some uh, type of uh, content creation whereby i was inviting some other you know maybe some single parents out there fathers maybe you know right. people going through grief and how they came out of that grief you know so i used to invite them to then uh, they share out their story so that they can inspire somebody out there right. it's not only for baba talisha you know we have we all go through a lot of stories you know we all go through different struggles and we know we pull out differently you know so i that is what i'm trying to do at the moment but then nilikatiza kidogo but then later nitakuja na hiyo bado lazima plan iku unaona kulikuwa na kulikuwa na shida shida hapo katikati lakini i guess i'll just come back again yeah all right yeah uh what was happening on uh the, the photo is running on the screen i can see uh that is you with your oh, adorable yeah. baby girl you call her baby girl oh, that is right. baby talisha yeah baby that is talisha. Adenso, yeah so we were crowned right. i was crowned the dad of the year like uh -huh. this year that is the f uh, father of the year all right the dental confess <laughs> wow, congrats, so, man. Yeah, and we are also some brand ambassadors at Adenso Confis. So, right. So, yeah, we, it, I was so honored, yeah. All right. Yeah, and uh, I'm super happy because uh, at least inspired us all somewhere. Right. To and, receive and, such and you're a, a single award. dad. Yeah, I'm a single dad. We've not seen a lot of, you know, <laughs> single daddies come out and say, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm a so single dad. When you dad, see Talisha, and... wherever she is right now, like this, yeah, she's at school actually. Before I came here, I dropped you her dropped school, her yeah. School. So right. it has been quite a tough journey, bro, yeah. When uh -huh. you see Talisha since 2020, when they happy, uh, that didn't happen. happen. Right. The struggles, the therapies, until right now, bro, it's, it's good, yeah. Right. It's not only because of me, because also we have fans who care. 
Okay. Bro, there's some fans on the Kwambia bro and I, I think you know you are going through a lot yeah and you may uh, not even ask for help but let me just let me just you, you support know. you. Yeah, let me just support you, you know. Even and it's subscribing not easy you know? to get such people, bro. Yeah. It takes and it, ages for yeah, people to hit such a support system. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it's quite, you know, maybe sometimes when you go through town and you meet your fans, they, it feels right. good, you know, sometimes. At least there's somebody you, you, you make up, you know. Right. Yeah. And speaking of that, how do you incorporate, because you're also now like purely a fully fledged uh, professional photographer. Yeah. yeah. And now recording videos, recording videos is another different production. Yeah. But now again, photography is another fully fledged different production. Yeah. How do you incorporate the two and then at the same time manage to make content for YouTube? Uh, normally, I, I clients when clients come they book yeah. So specifically, I have like Thursdays I'm not available at all yeah. I have right. recordings with Jeff Kuria. Yeah? Jeff Kuria is my boss also yeah. Right. Yeah. So Jeff Kuria normally on Thursdays I'm not at work at like I cannot do anything at all yeah. Yeah. But then uh, maybe when we say like on uh, I, normally on weekends I'm very fully booked like every weekends. Me partially during the the weekdays up on the on a part of time maybe content creation is a chikuwa one day kuna right. videos ziko youtube ni me shoot one day like ni ziko different other ni me shoot ka leona ni shoot okay. last week they should like maybe even a month yeah just All because right. i know maybe next week i'll be quite busy yeah right so that is how i try to at least to balance kidogo jue mambo ya fatherhood na kwa na mtoto ndugu yangu ni ngumu kidogo ya right even but, how do you, uh, that would be would have been my next question how do you balance content creation putting baby talisha right there and now yourself again and how to handle all of that and still come out successful it, and not having a help on your side you it's, know it's quite tough but then uh, you know you have just to kujipanga eh? mwanaume ni kujipanga sometimes you know sometimes exactly. they say at kwangi at kwangi kama dem unaona madem anaweza fanya vitu mingi at the same time but si pia sisi tunajaribu unaona eh right so tukijaribu pia lazima mtupigie makofi kidogo because okay. it's yeah <laughs> lazima that is a boycha yeah, yeah because boy right. challenge anajaribu right but uh, i try to do my best yeah because um, me the earliest ni zalala ni maybe ni saba okay usikiote mimi na kuanga mimi na edit ama niko pale tiktok Yeah, TikTok is a very good platform. Yeah, you also incorporate yeah. TikTok yeah. as well, and you have yeah. and actually for for right? TikTok you can, if you're a content creator and you can do very good on you can do very good on TikTok. Yeah, as compared to TikTok, say it is a fungo account. All right. In a week, there's a kwana 10k subs like followers. Follows. Uh huh. So like on my TikTok, I have a very huge and my my audience mostly na kwanga ni madem na you know. <laughs> All right. Mostly uh, akonga hivyo because I really don't know why but uh, mostly akonga hivyo eh. Wanaume tunakutana na katuna kwa barabara na kuambia Yeah, wanaume tunakutana na katuna kwa streets hapa kuambia eh baba ti wana kuoche lakini wakuja huko ni kingine waonekane lakini kwa streets mtakutana nao sana ya. All right. So mostly I, I I do try my best to you know to at least have time with baby Talisha to go right. out. She likes swimming a lot. Right. She likes going to jam. Mostly I take her to mostly me when I to rivers or man in the village right. market at least to have some time with her. She likes All playing right. a lot, yeah. All so right. I really don't want her to miss that part. You no know, sometimes kana kuja kaseme because the the her late mom speaks is got kwa hawa ya. Right. So yeah, you fry like she's not sad, she's not sad, she doesn't know anything, yeah. Right. Yeah, ta kumamuliza ta kwambia she just went. So I'm trying but to But she asks questions. She asks questions. Yeah, because, sometimes you she, know, she she must ask kind of. Yeah, and actually sometimes when she sleeps, you know, at night, she mostly say ya manda kuogopa kulala. Right. I guess the akiona any flashes of the light ni ngumu unless ni Lale na she gets terrified. Yeah. Right. So, But how do you help her out to cope through that? It's quite tough, bro. Yeah. Um, right. Actually, I've been having a very rough time since the start of last month. Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Since I ingeshu le ame kuakifanya poa alinga pipi one. Actually, yeah. She went okay. to pipi one, but then she had had some flashes that some triggers, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. she had a very serious head injury. Yeah. Right. So zime kwa zikimsumbua until me mtop pipi one saya me rudisha ile class ya chini la play groups kwanza that list and because uh, ali she's a very bright girl yeah but then she's having a very difficult time you know sometimes amekuwa msik tena so it's Sorry quite tough it's quite tough it's quite tough on her side also you know Sorry she doesn't understand that. you know but then uh, i guess maybe someday she'll get to understand everything yeah Right. But as a father I'm trying like everything to make it, you know, yeah, yeah. 
So, All right. Yeah. Which, uh, w w and I love the fact that, you know, you're so bold and so, you know, courageous to actually, you know, share that because that not so many people would actually package themselves yes. to be the person, you know, you had. Yeah. As uh, we, are, we are out of time, but I'm going to ask two, three short questions and okay. I'd love you to answer them. Uh, maybe uh, what are some of the biggest achievements you've had before we get to maybe if, if there are people sending, you know, applications to be, <laughs> you know, future baby mama or future wife <laughs> in your DM, etc. Mm, I have achievements. Uh, personally, getting that girl, whatever she is right now, is quite a very the big achievement, achievement, brother. Right. Yeah. To be where I am right now, yeah. to uh -huh. be where I am right now, it's quite an achievement. Also, you know, to get that that's award. We have a lot of fathers who deserve it, but then why you? Mm, why you it means you have something, something that, you know, different and yeah, something right. different. It doesn't mean you are so good, better than them, but, right. you know, you're just favored, yeah? I love the fact that you're humble on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm always humble, bro. Like, right. that is the <laughs> thing, you know. When All God right. gives you something you really wanted, you have you just stay humble because he can also take it from you, yeah? All right. So I'm always humble and... Um, Maybe in future I'll get my awards. Me, it's quite nominated kwa vitu mingi. Right. Uh, kwa events me. I'm not an events person awesome and anything. Yeah. I'm just msewa loki to pale chini ya. Yeah. So it's uh, so far so good, but maybe in future. Right. Kuna mama demo na tumama applications pale, because like you mentioned, your biggest fan base <laughs> is literally baby girls. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Madem, hey, madem. Uh, of course they are sending, bro, because you went viral when you did your first interview. And they're like, oh. this guy is only 25, <laughs> and now he's 26, he's a father, and he's doing all this. Yeah, actually, this month right. is my birthday. I'm 27. Birthday. Yeah, I'll Happy be turning 27 years old. Right. Happy birthday in advance. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, madem are on my case, sana. Uh -huh. But what thing, do you say mostly? How is your reply to them? Reply yangu unajua uki wana wengine wanakuanga title sana. Ukienda Facebook pale kuna right. group fulani na kuanga on my case every day. Right. Hiyo na ina kuanga on my case, ku troll, kufanya nini, kufanya ni but you know that is life. That is What do part. they say a lot in the in the comments? Hey, comments unaringa. Right. Uh, most of them, uh, some of them abuse me using my late wife, you know, who is a sata, ukienda kwaki, atakuwa, ana, atimukiko sana kidogo, anaenda kufanya nini ku, nisi jui nina mairehemu, nona, that is, ah. they hurt, yeah, sometimes, but we don't show it, yeah, right, but they normally hurt, because that is right. something, you know, we don't ask, you know, that is our life, that is, you know, since what it's a pita uko, yeah, right, yeah, so normally, it's not your fault, so you yeah, it's not my it, fault, right? you know, yeah, Right. So it's it's life, it's life. But yeah. mostly what I tell even any interview I go or at an equal live mtaki nuliza nini nini ya. Mi wambia it's a personal decision, yeah? yeah? To get married, to get a spouse to date, you know? Right. And we just don't date because, yo, I, I saw Sakwa had a girlfriend. Right. It, and couple. Mm -hmm. We saw me, you are Jesus, and Kabi, you know? They are right. very nice uh -huh. couple, yeah? All right. They, they know why wako hivi, eh? Right. So we jaribu yako. Kama huko already, bro. Hakuna uh haja -huh. mimi niingie sasa hiko ni alafu after a few days mwanze kunicheka tena you know yeah. ingia sasa hii ona bibi Talisha and huyu ako hivi yeye mwenyewe ndio hiyo na demu yake hivi ya so it's quite a personal decision and uh, uh, you know we take a day at a time ya yeah? right. kila kitu na siku yake ya right na mapizi pia ina haraka you, you see how we have to the relationship out here ya yeah? right yeah so we don't want to end up there so right when the time comes then at least hiyo hata tena akikuja ni hivyo tu i guess itakuwa ni yangu to see itakuwa ya kila mtu all right have you have you uh, have you ever reached that place where you almost made that decision and you're like no i'm not going to do it as we exit mm, sometimes one away yeah uh -huh. like, yeah it's it, it's not that akunanga kitu at it's early or it's late yeah akuna kitu at it's early or it's late yeah all right any day, like kata ni kiamua ni kesho ni kesho, no, ni right. decision ni yako, yeah? Right. So, kuna, at times, wana Parents way hivi, hivi ya, yeah, wana way hivi, like hivi, hivi, hey, ndawezana na huu day mama, ni goji right. kidogo. Alright. But, hopefully, hopefully, right. hopefully. Yeah, amen. Munga ta create njia, tuna, tuta. You'll get that. Yeah. You're taking your time. Yeah. All right, uh, I want us to actually call it a day, but if people want to access your merchandise, people want to access your YouTube channel, follow you on social media, where can they find you? So on social media, you can get me on TikTok, camera. yeah. Right. On TikTok, I'm Baba Talisha. Okay, I can do Baba Talisha anyway, you'll get me. Uh, uh, my photography page in a Fox Arts, you can go and check out my work. have a YouTube channel in a Malkia Faustin. I guess I'm going to screens, yeah?
right. you can go and subscribe, you know, it matters. One subscription, you can share, and uh, that is how we support one another. Yeah. All right. So in case you need a photo shoot, maybe my merchandise, my number angi na kuanga, by the which is, you, can, so you can still give it. Yeah, number one yeah. 11 1953 That is my number. In case you need photo shoots with Kahizo. Right. Niko hapa babatalisha kama kawaida. Right. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Baba Talisha, for sharing your story. Uh, despite the fact that you got stuck on traffic, but at yeah. least uh, we managed to interact with you. Uh, who are some of the biggest celebrities you've actually worked with as we go? Um, Faster. DJ Mosa is eight. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Jeff Kuria. Milwa Jesus with the dancer, you know, and okay. uh, like in Wengi, Willis Raburu. Wow. Okay. Wengi, I already made me find your content creation, but I'm going to write some videos, photo shoots, nini, nini, yeah. Right, amazing. Yep. yep. Thank you so much for your time, bro. And on that note, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, right here. We have been talking to Faustin Lepoko, who is a content creator. He's also a single dad as well. And many other titles, including photography, or ATC, that he got right there. You can definitely find him. He has given his number. You can interact with him if you want. And you can also continue to interact with us on the hashtag Why in the Morning. Stream us on www.kbc.co.ke. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can follow me personally at Brian Sako 101. Many thanks for watching. Like I always say, grab yourself a bottle of water and mind your business. Have an amazing day.